how to get your music on TikTok. I'm on TikTok here. I have my profile. Everyone's posting music. How do I get my music? How to get your music on TikTok? I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. My name is Charles Klein. I'm also an indie musician. I have my own music on TikTok. And this channel is about music production and music marketing. So we teach you how to write songs and make songs, produce songs. And I'll just show you how I'm producing my music, how I'm making my music, and how I'm marketing my music. So if you like that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. Let's go get our music on TikTok today, and I'll show you exactly how to do this. There are a couple ways we can do this on TikTok. One, we can just upload it like how you would upload any other sound, and then you can have your music on TikTok and someone can use that sound. That's super easy to do and we're gonna show you that now, but also the more official way if you want your song catalog like in the music search in TikTok, I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So let's do these both ways right now. Let's do the first way, which is the easier way and the fastest way. TikTok's functionality means that whatever song or sound you upload with any video, someone can go and use that sound. So for example, let's say this song I have better, right? Now this is an official song I have on TikTok. However, I have the file on my computer better. So I can just go and make a video with my phone, whatever, and have that song in the background. Then once I publish that to TikTok, someone can go and just use that sound from this video. So let's do that now. So in order to do this, I would recommend filming on your phone or whatever. Um, we're gonna go to, um, here I am right now, you can see me talking, and I'm gonna go to upload. Here are all my videos, obviously you know how to do this. Just find the video that you made on your phone with the sound you want to share. Click that video, upload it, then post it to TikTok. Now, when that video is on TikTok, we can use that sound. So this is a video of mine. You can see it has the original badge here. That means I was the first person that uploaded that sound. I can click on the video. And you can see in the bottom right here, I can do use sound. And now I'm seeing my face again and I can create a video with that exact sound that was yours used in my first video. And then that's how sounds can go viral. If you have a really cool video that's funny or memorable or whatever, that has the potential to go viral, then some people are just gonna use your sound. So technically, TikTok is a music distributor in its own way where you can upload your music for free to TikTok. You don't necessarily have to use a music distributor, which we'll do next, by the way, but you don't actually have to use a music distributor. You can just upload your music for free to TikTok and try to get some virality going that people will use your sound. So that's the first way, free and easy, make a video with your sound and then make that sound shareable so people can use that sound in their videos. The second way on how to upload our music to TikTok involves using a music distributor. And a music distributor is just the middleman between you and TikTok. So it's a company. You may have heard some of these companies before. Some of them are DistroKid, TuneCore, CD Baby. There's some other free ones. There's paid ones. There's a lot of music distributors. Not to get bogged down with all these music distributors, but what you need to know is the music distributor is the middleman between you and TikTok, and they're gonna get your music officially indexed to TikTok. So when you go to TikTok and search your music, your official songs will be there, and yes, people can go and use those songs and listen to your songs the same way as we did in the first one. I fall back on two distributors, TuneCore and DistroKid. They're just the ones I'm comfortable with and the, and the easiest to use. So if you're interested, there are two discount links for TuneCore and DistroKid in this description. You can use those if you like, but you don't have to. So I'll quickly walk through how to get your music on TikTok with using TuneCore and then DistroKid. It's really not that simple. We can do it quite quickly. It's really, it's actually, it's, it's really not that difficult. It's actually quite simple. Here we are on TuneCore tunecore.com just head over and log in use an email and password tunecore will only charge you when you want to release music so create an album if you have an album or create a single click let's just do a single create a single and then you're gonna have to go through just a three two two or three pages that you'll need to fill out information regarding your single the important pieces are the song name the artwork and the actual mp3 sorry WAV file of the song and then you'll choose a release date for your song i recommend trying to upload your music so it is available on tiktok at least four weeks prior to your release date and you can almost guarantee that it will be available on tiktok if it if you do it four weeks in advance the codes here don't worry too much about the codes what an isrc code is and tunecore will give you a code it just is like your unique identifier to the song so they can track how many streams your song has after this page when you create my single this is when you're going to tell tunecore where do you want your songs to be published and you're gonna make sure you choose TikTok in that screen. And that's what you have to do. Keep in mind, TuneCore will also 
get your music on Spotify, YouTube Music, Apple Music, and pretty much every other streaming service out there. But the next page is when you're gonna say like, I want my music on TikTok. So make sure you click that box and then pay for the release. It's about $10 for a single, I think, on TuneCore right now. And then wait between two and five days, or let's say your release is in four weeks, you can rest assured that your music will be on TikTok in four weeks from then if you had uploaded your single in advance. Pretty much just as easy on DistroKid, if not even easier. So here's my music, I'm gonna go upload, then I'm just gonna go through the information like I did on TuneCore, pretty much the exact same information. I think with DistroKid, actually I know with DistroKid, you can only choose a release date if you are using their second tier plan. So make sure if you do want to choose a release date in the future, that you um, go on their second tier plan. You can see here, we wanna just make sure TikTok is clicked. And that's right at the beginning of the process. And once you have TikTok clicked, your music will be indexed on TikTok. Wait until your release date, go to TikTok, search your name, find your song and use that sound. So what I would recommend is like on the day of your release, try to be the first one that makes a video with your sound because then you're gonna get the original tag on that video. It's not a huge deal. It's cool still someone else can go, goes to make a, a video with your sound. But if you are the original curator, then they can go back to your profile because they see you're the original and then you can have a link to your music in your profile and you can funnel traffic through that way. So that's just a quick tip, kind of a music marketing tip that I do. If you kind of want to know more of these music marketing tips and how to get more streams on your music, how to create music and produce music, then consider subscribing to this channel because this is what I'm doing right now. I'm an indie, indie musician. I'm just kind of sharing everything I'm learning along the way. So please subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.